Good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early, 6 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I'm going to talk about Afghanistan. It's gotten to the point where I really can't avoid it anymore. I usually, you know, I watch the views and responses from you, you guys. And, uh, you know, when I talked about international stuff like this before, it didn't really get a whole lot of views. And to be honest with you guys, uh, like Bo the Fifth Column, that's his wheelhouse. That's his forte. I mean, the man is extremely knowledgeable, much more than I could ever hope to be. So I kind of leave that stuff to other, other channels. Here's the thing. As of today, you really can't avoid not talking about Afghanistan. I want to call this video like an average, av Joe average, average guy's thoughts on Afghanistan right now. Uh, I was going to, you know, I didn't know if I should call it like the average liberal or uh, view on Afghanistan. But at this point, I really don't know how much of a difference, uh, you know, of course, conservatives are going to blame, all blame Biden on this. You know, even though Trump initiated this whole withdrawal, but I don't want to even, I'm not going to start getting into that right now. All right. Let me just get into it then. It's a mess. It's a, it's a freaking mess. Uh, as of this morning, Afghanistan has fallen in one week. The Taliban routed the entire country. All right, what to take away from this? Uh, first of all, Biden. Uh, I'm you know I told you guys before when I, when Biden first got elected that I was going to be fair. You know if Biden needed to be taken to task, if he you know if he screwed up, I would say so. I was you know I wasn't just going to root 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 for for the Dems, and uh, you know Republicans always bad, Dems always good. I told you guys I wasn't going to do that, and uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, Biden looks bad on this man. Biden looks very bad. This is after I, I've done some thinking about this though. All right. And I, I think here's the bottom line. America wanted out. 20 years is way too long to babysit another country. The, the tr I think, trillions of dollars we got it in, the, the lives, it, 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 you know, we had to, it was time to go. It was past time to go. Uh, so then it comes down to how, how, how we could have done this different, how Biden could have done this different. Here's my thoughts. Uh, the thing where I believe Biden looks the worst on this is where he said he, he, about, I think it was a month ago. It wasn't even a month ago. It was a couple of weeks ago. He said that it would take a couple of months for Taliban to, uh, to move towards Kabul. He, they, he, he said he didn't think that Kabul would be overtaken. He, they, their, their general, the, the administration, Biden administration's thoughts were that they were just going to surround some of the larger cities and kind of slowly work into it. And that is not what's happened. Uh, uh, another thing that I think looks terrible right now, uh, Blinken, Blinken repeatedly saying that this is, this is not a, this is not Saigon. You know, no comparisons to Saigon, man. It sure looks like Saigon. I think this, this, this whole thing hurts a lot of Americans hearts seeing this. Uh, I mean, we were literally seeing uh, helicopters ferrying people out, landing on the roof, or I don't know if it's on the roof or in the on in the yard, but it does not look good. Uh, you know, we're, we're basically basically running for our lives right there. Uh, it looks it looks terrible, and here's where I think Biden really screwed up. What 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 he was handed, and what the American he was handed this from from Donald Trump, all right, being fair. <clears throat> Trump negotiating with the Taliban, negotiating. And Amer the American people want out. Like I said, 20 years is way too long. So we were, it was time to get out. So it comes down to how we went about it. You know, and I, you know, I, like I told you guys, I'm not very experienced. I don't know how this all works, but you, you would have thought that maybe they would have got the civilians out first, the ambassadors, the civilians, the people that didn't have guns. Uh, you know, maybe just start. You should start taking them out like as soon as he came into office, as soon as Biden got into office, and then have the soldiers be the last to leave. It really appears that you know. It was just a dash for the door. Um, like I said, I think I think I fall Biden on his. It, it makes America. It makes him look truly like he like he he, he 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 seriously underestimated the Taliban. He underestimated his enemy. Um, like he doesn't have a clue really what the Taliban were capable of. 
either that or he wasn't being truthful. And I, I don't think I think he, he really just underestimated the Taliban. The Biden administration grossly underestimated the Taliban. And like I said, Blinken, you know, it, it reminded me of Trump. You know, you're not seeing this. This isn't Saigon. You know, and you see the helicopter flying back and forth, ferrying people out. Not a good look for America. But here's the thing. Like I said, it had to happen. It had to happen. We were there entirely too long. Here's another thing. Uh, I was trying to think what this quote was. I heard it, I heard Afghanistan called the uh, the destroyer of empires. I think I think I heard that name before. I was reading. I'll have a link down below. I was reading up a little bit on the whole Soviet uh, incursion into Afghanistan back in the 80s. And uh, holy cow, it was an awful lot like what we just did. We should have learned from there what happened there. Um, they basically tried to push Muslims out of the country and make it a communist country, Afghanistan. You know, we tried to push radical Muslims out of the country and make it a democracy. You know, and he here's the thing. I, I don't I think we grossly underestimated or, or just did, didn't really comprehend the Afghanistan people, you know, and their whole system of government. We keep, we keep, I think we keep thinking that we're, we're, we're blessing these other countries with our democracy and our wonderful system, and they just don't comprehend it, nor do they really want to. Um, you know, their system of warlords there, it's kind of, it's not even really a centralized government as far as I could see, you know. And uh, like I said, the same thing happened with Afghanistan. Uh, the link will be down below. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's scary, very scary, similar how, how to what's exactly to what's happened now. The Soviets fought the Mujahideen, who we backed, and the Mujahideen ended up coming, becoming the Taliban. It just a, a whole nother mess again where where we just we back somebody who we shouldn't back and uh it just a big mess really all right do i blame biden yeah you know, like i said the biden coming on tv or coming on tv and, and talking about how the you know there was plenty of time that he didn't think the taliban was going to take all this land that was the worst thing he could have done. That's going to come back to haunt him. That just made, made him, I don't, I don't want to say incompetent, but it didn't look like he really understood, he, he didn't have a good grasp of the Taliban, Taliban's plans. His enemy, our enemy. It does not look good. And again, Blinken with his, uh, this whole thing about not being Saigon. But other than that, you look at the Afghanistan people and they just did not have, they don't have, they don't have this will to fight um, I saw a picture of the Afghanistan troops all dressed up in our gear, the helmets, you know, looking basically looking like Marines except Afghanistani. And uh, you know, you see a picture of our troops, you know, they're 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 back straight, eyes forward, man. They're they're right in tune. You can tell they're 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 dialed in. And then you see you look at any picture of uh, a, a bunch of, you know, a, a troop or a, a brigade or whatever you want to call it, of Afghanistan troops, and they look completely different. They, they, they look disinterested. Um, they, uh, this morning when I saw a group of Afghanistan troops, like I said, it almost looked like, to me, they felt like they didn't like the way they looked in these uniforms. They, it, like they, they were almost ashamed or embarrassed or they felt silly wearing these uniforms that's that's the first instinct the gut feeling i got you know and they're standing there and they're milling around and chewing gum and you know and they're you could tell they're not taking any of this seriously so what more can we do really you know we can't do anything uh it's it's up to them uh, you know the chips are gonna have to fall where they may uh, we like i said we can't babysit and hold their hand forever if they don't have the will to fight uh, for their own freedom, for their own uh, religious freedom, freedom of speech. If they don't care, then why should we? Well, there is a reason why we should care, because we saw what happened last time with the Taliban and ISIS taking over the country and then harboring people like Osama bin Laden, which obviously became a big problem. Uh, at this point, like I said, I'm Joe Average, but it doesn't look like we have a choice. It's time to go. It's time to go, and down the road, if it turns into another uh, 
hide out another safe haven, which it, good chance it will, uh, for the likes of Osama bin Laden, uh, we might want to think about approaching it differently, more harshly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I think this is a time when it would pay off to learn about other cultures, to learn about other religions. This is one thing where I could take the right, the Republicans to task, because they don't want any of this, you know, they don't want kids in schools to learn about Islam or any of this stuff. And this is where I think it would behoove us to understand, not our enemy, but to understand other cultures so we don't keep making these mistakes. Because obviously we grossly misunder underestimated and misunderstood the whole Afghani people and what they want and what they don't want. Um, just some thoughts this morning. Um, oh, one last thing, Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump came out, and of course he said he believes that, that Joe Biden should step down for this big mistake. And this is kind of funny, kind of sad. Uh, you know, I, I, don't think, I don't think Donald Trump gives a flying fig noon about Afghanistan. I just think this is just another excuse, another reason for him to try, try to get his old job back. Oh, oh, Joe Biden screwed up. Give me my old job back. Let me back in. Look, look, he screwed up. Get him out of there. You know, it's almost comical. Uh, you know, he's calling for Biden to step down. You, you pretty much know uh, what his uh, motivations are there. And it's it's not the United States. It's not the Afghan people. It's getting his old job back. It, it, let's just say this, too. If, uh, if pre presidents should step down after their first big screw-up, well, Donald Trump should have stepped down in the first week. Anyway, that's some thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'll be back later with another video.